Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to use technology, specifically Microsoft Excel, to find the T value for uh, unorthodox confidence levels. So assume we are given a sample size of 20 and the confidence level is 93%. We're looking for a T value. So if we turn to table F, we notice 93% is not listed. So we cannot use this table. We have to use either Microsoft Excel or if you have a TI graphing calculator, uh, you can use that device to help you find the T value. But that's done in a separate video. Here we are working on Microsoft Excel. So we have to compute the degrees of freedom, which is n minus 1. Since n is 20, 20 minus 1 is 19. We also have to compute 1 minus the confidence level. So 1 minus, we're going to convert 93% to a decimal. 1 minus 0.93 is 0 0.07. And then we will use the Excel function t.inv, which stands for inverse, dot 2t, which stands for two tails. And so let's now turn to Microsoft Excel. Let's demonstrate how we would type that function. So you always want to type a function using the equal sign. That's informs Excel that we will be typing in an equation. Then you type T. As soon as you type T, a bunch of options become available. And the option we're looking for is t.inverse.2tails. So we click on that option. Or you could also just type it out yourself. Now it's asking for the probability. If you recall 93% was given, we need 1 minus 0 0.93, which is 0 0.07. Then you place a comma, and now you type in degrees of freedom, which is 19, close the parentheses, and hit enter. And the T value is calculated for us. So the T value is 1.920. This is the value that you would plug into the formula. Thanks for watching the video.